and tonight the Lancers host in-state rival James Madison from sold out Willett Hall here in Farmville, Virginia. Chance for the Dukes to take a lead. Hitchens steps back, can't hit, but an offensive rebound for Goins. He's been active. Another chance for Hitchens, and he'll knock it down. It's 9-7. This is what we talked about, John. They, they are making Madison's big players come out on the perimeter to guard them, and it's not easy for them to do. Using a screen from Bowles. Hitchens unloads and hits again. High post Bowles skips for Wells. He'll pull the trigger and connect. Great first half action. Seminoff for three. Moore got his man in the air. Feeds a wide open Bowles who stuffs it with the right hand. Neal lost it. Numbers the other way. Three in the air. It's a one point game. Bowles turning on Carter and stuffing it with the right hand. Throw it away. Moore has his first basket. Jelani Dublin is in. Moore driving, scores, and will have a chance to complete the three point play to give the Dukes their largest lead of the night potentially. Moore's going to try a straightaway three and knock it down. 77 71. Seminar. Iron unkind. Bowles, though, is able to finish with the offensive rebound. At the very least, the Dukes will use about 30 seconds here. Can they score? Well, they got it in the hand of the guy they want it to be in, and that's Devon Moore. What a big clutch shot for Devon Moore. And James Madison will move to 6-1 and one with a hard-fought road victory over Longwood tonight by a score of 88-78. to 78. A rivalry renewed tonight in Tampa as the Rams and Bulls get together for the 37th time, but just the first meeting since 1997. A host of substitutions at the scorer's table. We'll check in during our first media timeout as Bradford Burgess knocks down his first three. Rodriguez lets it fly. Will at least give him another possession. Threw it away. Brandenburg working two on one. He'll take it himself. With five on the shot clock. Burgess out to Rizel. Theus on the drive. Picks to Burris. Bradford Burris. Box. Now Haynes has five seconds to get it across, but it's stolen away. Burris up to Nixon. All alone for the flush. Brandon Rizel, Rob Brandenburg, clean look for Burris, knocks it down. Ball almost made it halfway down the cylinder before it popped out. Burgess wants another one, got it! Over to Rizel, guarded by Robertson. They go to Skeen in the block, up top over Augustus Gilchrist, and the lead cut to two. Anderson Jr. trapped, finds Crater. Ahead to Robertson, but it's tipped away and stolen by Nixon. A chance to tie or take the lead with a Rodriguez three. And VCU on top for the first time tonight. Burgess finds Nixon with 15, crosses over, gets to the rack, and we're tied. Crater to the corner. Burwell back to Anthony Crater. Off iron, two seconds with the rebound. VCU, a heave at the buzzer. It'll count if it goes. It's off the mark, and we're going to overtime. Shocker Smart hanging on to his timeout, so let VCU play with two and a half to go. They trail by six. Rizel makes it four. Skeen and Rodriguez in the backcourt with them. Rodriguez, the point guard, gets the touch with eight. Now Burgess, guarded by Ron Anderson. He'll go to the rim. Off the glass, in and out. Loose ball. And the clock expires. The Rams grab the rebound but cannot get a shot up. And the Bulls hang on to win it, 60 to 59. BCU couldn't have asked for a better attempt at a shot. Burgess with a shot from point blank range. But Ron Anderson Jr. again coming up huge. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.